Now, another two issues in this topic we have to learn, that is, one is, what is the term called quality assurance and what is testing. So, as I told you, a lot of times we confuse as if both are same, but they are not same. Quality assurance and testing are not same terms. What is quality assurance? Quality assurance is, it covers all of the activities an organization performs to improve the confidence in the quality of requirements of their software and systems. So, typically, every task a development work needs to be performed in an organization, we perform a set, act, set of activities to develop that product. Let's say you are performing a requirement analysis activity and a set of people get involved, perform a lot of tasks, activities and create a product called requirement document. So that is the product that is coming out of a set of activities. So to produce this document called requirements document, we follow a step-by-step -step approach and produce this document. So the step-by-step -step approach to doing work is called process. So the quality assurance, when we are talking about it, we are not only talking about the end product and how well the end product is come, but we also believe that if we apply the right process to develop this product, then quality can be assured. So every company to develop software, they follow a set of processes. And ensuring the process has been applied perfectly and performing all those activities to ensure that the process has been applied to deliver this product well, that activities are called quality assurance activities. Whereas software testing is really to check whether the product developed as part of this process is right or not. That activity we call it as quality, it's called testing or sometimes we call it as quality control. Usually we apply quality control techniques on the end product. So testing always is to test whether the product is rightly right or wrong. Whereas quality assurance activities cover all the activities whether the process has been complied to or not. So this is the difference between quality assurance and testing. Okay, so we have learned what is quality assurance and what is testing. So quality assurance and testing are not the same. So just keep it in your mind as a professional tester. The next terminology that is very important for every professional test engineer to very clearly understand is the difference between terms called debugging and testing. Again, these two words also are used by both developers and testers in an interchangeable manner, but they are not interchangeable. They are two different words. So debugging is an activity performed by developers. It is a development activity. Whereas testing is a checking activity. So development is a creation activity. Debugging is a development activity and testing is a checking activity. And debugging is often performed by programmers. Whenever you find a defect, report it to the developer. So developer will go back to his or her code, try to pinpoint where, why this defect is occurring, what mistake he or she committed. So for that, they do a lot of pinpointing activity. They will try to locate the problem. And then once they understand where and why the problem is occurring, they make correction. And that activity, we call it as debugging activity. So it is a development activity post you report defects. And it is performed by programmers. Whereas testing is often performed by specialist testers. When you are testing, you don't care why the problem is occurring. 
you are only worried about providing different types of inputs and ensure that for all inputs as it is designed as the requirements state the software whether it is working or not you are doing only the checking part of that activity and debugging activity requires always developers to execute the code they have to uh, set breakpoints they should set watch lists look at what is happening to various variables what is happening to the execution flow so it is a fundamentally a dynamic activity where you need to understand the execution of the code and you have to execute the code in order to really do debugging whereas testing the checking activity may or may not execute the code so without executing code you can do static testing by executing code you can do dynamic testing so testing can be done by either executing or sometimes without executing also we can perform an activity like testing and debugging is part of a process to fix defects whereas testing is a part of the process to find defects so these are the terms debugging is different from testing as a professional tester please understand keep it in your mind so to conclude this lecture so what we did we identified the five common reasons why we do testing to show that the software works find defects in the software predict the quality of the software prevent defects in the software meet legal requirements and also at times follow contractual agreements these are the reasons why we perform testing inside software companies and then we also understood the basic definitions of error defect fault bug and failure and also we try to understand the linkage between these terminology and we also talked about how from one development life cycle errors will become defects and if these defects are not uh, fixed how it can impact the next subsequent phase we have tried to understand that then we also tried to understand the difference between what is quality assurance and how is it different from testing and finally we have understood the difference between testing and debugging they are not interchangeable words they are two different words so with that we have covered the testing basics lesson of our first chapter that is fundamentals of testing so please take at the end of this there is a small quiz so please take the quiz and try to check whether you understood or not so thank you very much for your attention learn and have fun thank you